Now let's look at a problem dealing with determining the number of options for a new car. A person can purchase a particular model of a new car with a choice of 10 colors, with or without automatic transmission, with or without four-wheel drive, with or without air conditioning, and with two, three, or four radio CD speakers. How many different options are there for this model of car? We're going to work the problem by thinking of it kind of like a fill in the blank. Let's have a blank here, and in this blank we're going to write down the number of options for color. And then notice we also have other choices. We need to make a determination dealing with automatic transmission. We are going to have to make a choice dealing with four-wheel drive. We'll have a choice dealing with air conditioning. And we'll have a choice dealing with speakers. So if we go back to the problem, we notice that we have a choice of 10 different colors, so we're going to write the number 10 in the blank above color. We can either choose to have automatic transmission or not, so there are two choices here. We can either have four-wheel drive or not, there are two choices here. Air conditioning or not, two choices. And for speakers, we can either choose two, three, or four, so there are three different choices here. We now use the multiplication property of counting, and we are going to multiply these values together. The result is 240, and so we end up with 240 different options for this particular model.